hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create search functionality in react native as you can see here we have a search bar at the top of the screen and then we have some items in flat list so we can search through these items by providing search query here so let's do a search so here we have kent davis so let's search for it here when i have entered the keyword then we have the result this was the first name let's use the last name okay and similarly for the other ones okay let's do another search for the email id so let's use this one andy.west so it's working fine right so this is what we are going to create today in this tutorial so if you are interested in these kinds of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so here i have created a new project by using expo and here it is running so first let me get rid of this instead of view i will use safe area view and within it i will create search bar for that i will use text input and for the text input placeholder let's use search let's see so here it is now let's provide some styling for this safe area view first it will be flex one and then i will provide a margin horizontal which will be 20 pixel and with it first i will provide clear button mode as always so now if i type something then we will have this cross button by tapping over there we can clear the text input now let's provide some styling let's provide padding horizontal 20 and then padding vertical 10 for the border color i will use this color and the border width will be 1 and for the border radius i will use 8 pixel so this is how our search bar is looking like right now and i can cut the style from here and i have moved the styles to this style sheet section and still now it is looking good as it was before now let's do some customization here for this text input so first customization will be this auto capitalization i want to set this as none so now you can see the first letter is not being capitalized and then for autocorrect i have provided false because we don't want any autocorrect feature in the search box and after that we need to handle the text input so for that here I will create a state called search query and we need to call the use state hook and by default it will be an empty string so for the value of it we can set the search query and for the on change text we can call the handle search function and pass the query here now let's create this function here we will receive the query which we have passed here so let's accept it and here we will set the search query with the query which we received so this is fine as of now and later we will do the search functionality within this function and here let me clear these things let's use this style sheet here and we can get rid of this so now it's looking good now after that here we need to provide an api endpoint from where we will fetch the data and now we need to create some more states so first it will be is loading and by default it will be false it will be used while we will fetch the data from this api endpoint and then we will need the data state in which we will assign the data which we will fetch from the api endpoint and by default it will be an empty array and after that we need to handle error and for that we will need an error state by default it will be null and at last we will require 
another for full data and this one also will be an empty array now we need to fetch the data when this component will mount so for that we need to use use effect hook and here we need to set is loading as true when the component will mount that time set is loading will set to true it will display a loader while it will fetch the data and we will call fetch data function and here we will pass the api endpoint now let's create the function and it will be an async function and here we need to pass the url which will be this api endpoint so we have passed that now within the try block we can get the response and for that we need to use await keyword and here we can use the javascript fetch function and pass the url here and after that let's get the json output out of this response so it will be response dot json now we can set the data as json dot results and let's do a console log of this and after this we need to catch the error if anything will occur then we need to display that as well so here first we need to set the error and let's do the console log of that error as well so now let's save it and here in the log we can see undefined so let me check what is the problem okay so here also we need to use the await keyword now let's save it and here we can see the response so our fetch data function is working perfectly well now here we need to display the loader and error message based upon the response which we get from the fetch data so first if is loading is set to true then we need to return the loader for that we need to use activity indicator and this needs to be imported from react native right and for the size of it i will use large size and for the color of it i will use this color let's wrap this within a view and this view also needs to be imported from react native justify content will be center and align items will also be center so here we can see the loader but here we can see the response so that time we need to stop the loader so for that here after the data have been fetched we need to set is loading as false so here in use state hook we are first setting up this set is loading as true and at that time we are starting to fetch the data right and after the data have been fetched we are setting it to false again and similarly we need to do the same thing for the error also when we will get the error then we can set the error and after that we need to stop the loader and display the error so now let's handle the error and it will be similar to is loading as well so if we have any error then we will return similar kind of thing but we will not use activity indicator instead we will use a text and this is also needs to be imported from react native and within this text we can provide a message so this is the error message which i want to display so now you can see the loader has disappeared and we can see the search box now we need to display the data which we have fetched from the api endpoint so for that here we need to use the flat list and also it needs to be imported from react native and after that here for the data we need to set the data after that for the key extractor we can get the items and for each item we can get unique information as the username or uuid whatever unique you will get you can use it here so here we can see within login we have this data and within this data we have the username uuid right so let me use item login username and then we need to render the item first we need to wrap the item within a view and then within this view first we will have an image so it also needs to be imported from react native for the image source use uri and here we can see we have a picture response and here we have large and thumbnail so let me use 
item picture dot thumbnail so here we can see the thumbnail url right and then we need to provide some styling here i will do that later first let me provide the other text information here and for that here we need to use another view and within this view we will have the text and first it will be the name of the user and we are getting the name of the user as name and within it we have first and last separately and the title as well but i don't want to display the title i want to display the complete name including first name and last name so it will be item dot name dot first and then after a space it will be item dot name dot last so it will be the name of the user so here we can see the name listed over here and we cannot see the image here we need to provide the styling for that i will do that later but now after this name let's display the email of the user so here we can see the email property it will be item dot email now we need to provide some styling for this render item component and for that here i will paste some styling so here i have pasted some styling so first we have the item container it will be for this view which is wrapping the complete item so first we have the item container then we have the image so for the image width and height i have used 50 and border radius 25 so it will be rounded picture so here let's use that and then after that we have text name and text email and these are for this text so here it is text name and for the email it will be text email now save it now after that here we can see the list have been presented properly and here are the stylings so these are some of the basic styling so i don't want to waste time to type these things so that's why i have copy pasted it here you can take note of it from here now the ui have been completed now let's do the search functionality to do the search functionality i will install a package called lodas.filter we can copy the command from here and let me close this server and use this command here to install the package to our project so here we can see it have been installed as the dependency now let's again start the project okay so it have been started now let's use it and for that we need to import it so let's import the filter from lodas.filter and now within this handle search first let me create a constant called formatted query to convert the query entered in this search box to lowercase and this is a javascript function and after that let's filter the data so we will get filtered data by using filter here which we have imported from this package and here we need to pass the full data so let's set full data here and pass the each item and name this as user and return the value which contains the user which will match with this query and here we have provided the formatted query which is actually the query which we have been provided here in lowercase and later we can set the data with this filtered data now we are left with this contents function so let me create that and here we are getting the user and the query so from the user we can get name and email by destructuring so here we get it so here we can see we have the email and similarly we will get the name and within the name we have first and last also so after getting the user data we will get the query right and here also we need to destructure the first name at last name from the name as we get first and last within the name now we need to just do a simple check 
if first includes query or last includes query or we have email if email includes query then we will return true else we will return false now let's save it and now do a search so for this vincent let's do a search and it is working perfectly well now let's do a search for this user so first we have used first name then we have used last name let's do another one with the last name so it's working perfectly well now let's do a search with the email okay so it's working perfectly well so this is how you can implement the search functionality in react native so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button let me know by commenting down below if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye